Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, ResetChargers.com. So, my 85C10 has a nasty 383 stroker in it, lots of power, and uh, all she does is spin. I just also want to mention, um, I will absolutely be doing a more comprehensive full-on review. This is just like the pre-deal. Um, this is, you know, I get them mounted, I'm playing around with them, and this is just basically a two-week update, uh, not necessarily a review. All I can say is, those aggressive um, drag street tires really feel good on the road. You don't notice that they're back there unless uh, it's raining and then they're not. It's not like you're on top of a bunch of snot, but it's definitely a little loose, loosey-goosey back there in the rain. So, uh, but they grip well in the, uh, in the dry conditions and I'm very happy with them so far. So I'll be definitely shooting a more comprehensive re review after I put some miles on them. I wanna also let you guys know how they hold up. Um, I would say when I drive my muscle cars, I'm pretty aggressive on them. Not stupid aggressive, like where I'm romping on it all day just to blow it up. But I definitely get on it and I like to play around, so we'll see how long they last. I've heard I shouldn't get more than 10,000 miles. Other people are telling me not even close to that. So uh, I might drive my classic cars 1,000 to 1,500 miles a year. So if I get two years out of those, I'm thinking, I bought them a while back and I just decided to put them on recently because I was just moving some stuff around. They were kind of in my way. I was really trying to just burn the tread off the old tires, but it didn't work out so well because it just... Ugh. Anyway, long story short, um, they're awesome for the street, they work really well, and I will give you a better, more comprehensive rev review coming up as soon as um, I have more to share. Thanks guys. So she got a lot of power, and all she does is spin right now, so I invested in some good meats. I got the Mickey Thompson ET Street SS 305 4517s. This should give me about an inch, inch and a quarter on each tire, more um, contact with the pavement. So not only are they wide, but they also are a very soft compound. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the uh, camera in my pocket the truck's sitting over there at the uh, northern tire place i'm gonna have them go ahead and stick these tires on that bad boy <clears throat> i was gonna shoot a video of uh me spinning the tires with that thing but i, I think it's kind of would kind of be a waste i know you guys want to see that but uh for for this video i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let those guys put these on the truck and then i'll give you uh, some action shots of of the, these tires. I'll make this more of a review on the Mickey Thompsons here. So here they are off the truck. I'm gonna go get them put on the truck. All right, here's my baby. Um, these are just 17 by nine and a half American Racing with the Nitto NT450 Extreme Performance, hardly. These are 275.50 17s and the only tires I could get that were the same uh, diameter uh, were those 305s. So got those Mickey Thompson sitting right there and they're going on the back of these, this bad boy because all they, these do is spin. So hopefully get some traction and I might go, we just put the, we just took the 410 gear out of here and went to a 373 but I may go back to the 410 or even a 456, I don't know. I mostly drive these around town. I rarely ever take the uh, any of my classic cars on the highway. So this thing's about to get a little bit of body work done and get some paint done. But I'm just doing some of this other stuff before I take it to get paint. So anyway, those tires are coming off. The good ones are coming on. Hey guys. So I shot just a little bit of a video trying to work up to getting the new tires put on the truck. So I haven't had the tires long enough to give you a solid comprehensive review. All I can do at this point is tell you how I like them for the past two weeks that I've been uh, driving on them. And uh, while it is a 1985 C10 pickup truck, um, 
short bed, sh uh, short, you know, standard cab, nothing super fancy, but the truck has a 383 stroker in it uh, with forged pistons, aluminum heads, headers. I mean, it's, we've got a quick fuel 750 double pumper car. I mean, it's a beast. I mean, it's a, it definitely makes some really, really awesome, fun power. And I had some, just some all-terrain tires on there before, not all-terrain, sorry. So I had some uh, all-season tires on there before. And I had crazy wheel hop. It would spin all day, every day. And just to give you some back history of the truck, the truck was almost... Well, actually, I've, I've done most of the stuff that it has now, I, I've done to it, but it had good bones to start with. It had a brand new 383 stroker in it, um, needed a bunch of work. We finally got it running right. It's finely tuned, MSD ignition just went on. And with all those power upgrades, 700R4, built rear end, we're running 373 rear gear right now. Um, we put a pretty cool looking girdle on it. I mean, not that that matters for a whole lot, but uh, it does have a nice posi in it. <clears throat> anyway, we just built the rear end and it had a 410 gear in it when we when I got the truck. And all it would do is spin, wheel hop, all that. It has Caltrax traction bars on it. It's a pretty badass machine. And um, it's fun to spin around all the time, you know, just literally hit the gas and just spin and want to go in circles. But that gets old pretty fast when, you know, somebody, some idiot kid pulls up next to you and I may make more power, my truck may be faster, but I can't put that power to the ground like he can. So, the, the next step after the traction bars that did almost nothing uh, with all the power that we're making uh, was to get some good tires. And so, I'm running American Racing, I think they're... Torque Thrust is the uh, brand or the model wheel. They're 17 by nine and a half front and back, but I'm running uh, two, 255 uh, 50 up front, I believe. I have to check to make sure. Uh, but I'm just using the all season tires up front, nothing fancy. Um, they're decent nittos, nothing, again, nothing super fancy. But like I mentioned, I had to get these fancy tires. And so all the research I did, talking to my buddies, uh, research online led me to the Mickey Thompson ET Street SS. Um, the size that I'm running on the rear of that truck is the uh, the 305 45 17. Um, that gave me a little over an inch per wheel of width uh, with the new tires uh, over the old all season tires. And um, I mean, when he mounted the tires, uh, he put in 35 PSI. I didn't touch that. So the video you're about to see of uh, the burnouts that I do, again, I didn't lay on the gas for a long time. All I did was do a quick launch to show you that they definitely grip pretty fast. I'm not real good at this yet. I'm going to do more reviews as I have several classic cars, uh, muscle cars. I'm, I, you know, I definitely like old school GM power. Um, I used to be, I wouldn't say I was a Ford guy per se, but I just preferred them. But now, um, I mean, I've always liked the older 80s uh, Chevrolets and that kind of thing. But even in the newer stuff, I think I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm a convert from Ford to Chevy, but I like Chevy just the same as Ford. Um, I had a 16 F-150. Uh, I loved that truck. Now I've got a newer Chevy. Um, and then all my old stuff. I've got multiple cars, so I'm always doing something. And I wanted to share that kind of stuff on the YouTube channel with you guys. But so there'll be a lot more product reviews, build reviews, builds, um, just things I'm doing. Uh, I want to give you some cool footage and that kind of thing. So I'm adding to the uh, the whole detailing thing uh, and the jet ski thing that I already do, reset charters, where we do uh, personal watercraft adventure tours. So, um, and then I have the detailing service and the product line, uh, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna share some of my passions in here. So anyway, these Mickey Thompson seem to be awesome. Uh, they really hook and go now. We went from the 410 gear down to a, or yeah, down to a 373. Um, that would, so the purpose of that was to give me um, 
more usable power. All it would do is spin, wheel hop, we adjusted the traction bars, we got the wheel hop to go away, I got new tires, we got a lot of that spinning to go away, and she launches, she goes, but it's still fun. If I wanted to do a, a quick burnout, I could do that, no problem. Brake torque it, that works. Um, not a huge fan of that, you know, it just puts extra stress on everything, but what are you not stressing when you're giving this thing some gas? She gets about six miles of the gallon. It's not good. Um, so anyway, um, I just wanted to give you guys just some background information. I know I didn't tell you a lot, but anyway, it's a 1985 C10 pickup truck, and uh, she's a beast. Um, fully built 3 stroker, 700R4 that's built, shift kit, all that good stuff. Uh, and then the rear end's completely built of uh, Chevy 12 bolt, and uh, like I said, 373 gear, posi. Uh, I, we did, um, I think, 28 spline axles, and then new bearings and everything. So everything got rebuilt on that rear end. So all awesome, high quality stuff transferred into the wheels spin all the time. So we went down to 373. Um, and now she'll still spin, but at least she grabs and goes. Even with the high PSI that you're about to see in this, uh, like I said, uh, he put 35 PSI in the tires when he mounted them. Uh, if I wanted to launch faster and get even better grip, I could go down to 18 to 20 PSI, but I don't need to. It's super fun, and I believe that the tires are going to wear better at a higher PSI. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not just getting into the hot rod scene, but you know, I'm just getting into explaining what I'm doing to you guys. So um, I hope you guys are interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff because I got a lot more coming. I want to bring diversity, uh, diversification, uh, bring more elements to um, you know the YouTube channel that you know. I want to I do some cool stuff. I have some cool stuff. I want to share that with you guys. So uh, if you got questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, or if you if I said anything that's not right, just let me know and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, Mickey Thompson, uh, the ET Street SS is the tires. I'm going to just show you a glimpse of uh, the computer screen. These are the tires. They are the uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street SS, and if you scroll down, they got different tire sizes on the site. Uh, mine, like I said, are 17 by 9.5, so I'm pretty sure these are the biggest tires I could put. Well, that's not necessarily true. I could fit wider tires in there by about another inch probably, but these uh, wheels won't accept a uh, wider tire. It's recommended for a 10-inch wheel the lowest recommendation is the nine and a half. So I've got 9.5. Um, so that's where we're at. Apparently that R2 compound is a bad man. And like I said, it's working great. So check out a couple of bullshit burnouts I did. It's nothing fancy. If you guys want to see crazy burnout videos, let me know. I'll try to make that happen. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are as interested in the rest of the videos that I plan on uh, putting up in the next years to come. Uh, I hope you're as interested in watching that stuff as I am about shooting it and um, showing the cool stuff that I do to you guys. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. And if you've got questions, leave it in the comment section below. Yep, that's two sets. Those tires are serious. <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. Love, love those Mickey Thompson tires.